Hey everybody, this week I want to talk a little bit about exercising some mental toughness in your training. Don't just survive your training. You've got to do more than that. You've got to thrive in it. Uh, I remember when I was in high school playing high school sports. Uh, we'd be doing some conditioning stuff like repeated sprints, things like that. And uh, what happens to guys when they get out of breath and get gassed? They drop down, put their hands on their knees. Just try to breathe for a little bit. Uh, we would always get yelled at for that. You know, you stand up straight. Uh, you get more oxygen when you're standing up straight, or you don't want to look weak, basically. Now, it's obviously a mental aspect of the sport that we were preparing for, but I always thought that it was about not looking weak in front of your opponent. It's not just that. It's about not looking weak in front of yourself, too. Now, for a powerlifter, or really any iron sport athlete, if you're just hanging on and you're just barely surviving your training, it's easy to fall into this mental pattern of defeat. And you can't let that happen. You can't do that. You have to crush your training every time out. Every time out, you've got to just, just crush it. You've got to thrive in the training environment. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you're a high-level lifter, a low-level lifter, somewhere in, in between. If you keep at this long enough and you push yourself, you're going to have to train hard for your gains, and I mean really hard. Some workouts you're going to barely get through. You're going to want to pack it up and go home. I mean, sure, you got to train smart too, but you can't use training smart as an excuse for training weak. Part of training smart is putting in a lot of hard work. It's totally unavoidable. And on those days where the workload's beating you down, you got to keep your head up. You got to make it look easy and just conquer it. Now, I don't have any proof, but I'm willing to bet that you get more out of your training, you're able to push harder, and you're able to recover faster if you make it look easy and you look like a winner while you're doing it. Of course it's hard. If it was easy, then everybody would do it. Being hard is what makes it great. So the next time you're, you're in the gym, you're having one of those sessions where it's tough, you're sore, you're tired, you'd just rather be done, pack it up and go home, pick your head up. Start making it look easy. Don't just survive it, thrive in it. You're going to be stronger for it, both mentally and physically, in the end. So, when you take the weight out of the rack, take it out with a little authority. Take it out like you mean it, and set up the exact same way every single time. Because your training isn't as much a workout as it is a practice. It's a rehearsal. So when you practice, practice like a winner, and make the training look easy, don't let it defeat you. The mental aspects of the sport is often acknowledged as being one of the most important pieces, but it's also one that we're least equipped to talk about. But the stuff's important. 